Now, polymers you have really interesting properties when you're talking about thermoplastic materials. For example, if I take this piece of polyethylene, all right, the polymer itself is not aligned. These chains are all randomly oriented inside this polymer. So if I take this polymer and I start to stretch it, what's going to happen is those chains are going to start to line up. And you can see this thing is starting to line up. So in that center region right here, it is lining up. And as I continue to pull on it, these chains are slowly lining up. Now, at some point, all the chains become lined up. And so there are certain properties of a material. And so if I line up all the chains then, at this point, the property of this material becomes much, much stronger. All right? And so that is a property of a polymer that you can actually utilize. So if you're making strand fishing line, for example, you'll actually pull on that polymer to the point where all the chains line up and then it develops a, a very high tensile strength. If you actually now line up those chains and have something in the backbone that will actually uh, stitch those chains together a little bit, then you can create a material, for example, that was the principle behind Kevlar, all right, which has very, very high tensile strengths.